Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a sleepy afternoon in Toyland. Noddy was visiting his friend Big Ears and they'd had a delicious tea. Oh, Big Ears, listen to your clock. I must wake up. I promised to fetch Tessie Bear from Sally Skittle's house. She's gone there for tea. Then there's no need to worry. They're probably fast asleep as well. I mustn't be late. Not for Tessie Bear. Uh, Noddy, wait. Don't forget your hat. Thank you, Big Ears. Uh, but Noddy... Noddy's taken my hat. I shall have to take his own hat to his house. <sighs> as soon as I've had a little rest... Thank you for letting me help you run your garage, Mr. Sparks. Uh, yeah, what can I do next? I don't know. I, I'm trying to tidy up. Here, you can hold these spanners. Oh, I'm so naughty. Your car's making a horrid noise. I know. It's going clank and clank, clank and clank. I know it is. There's something loose underneath. Where's Mr. Sparks? He's busy. I'm in charge of spanners. Then may I borrow one, please? I'll have to mend the rattle myself. Ow! Ow! Those spanners hurt. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. Please, hold my hat. This doesn't look like Noddy's hat. Where's the bell? Still, uh, <laughs> yeah. How do I look, Noddy? How do I know? I'm trying to tighten this wretched nut. There's no need to be so... Oh, there. I've done it. Excuse me, Noddy. Uh, could you help me, please? I'm, uh, yeah, uh, Sorry, Clockwork yeah, Mouse. Uh, I'm in no, such a hurry. Uh, Jessie uh, Bear is waiting. But, Noddy, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, help! Someone, help! Hello, hello. What's all this? A talking hat? Oh, Mr. Flood, it's not the hat that's talking, it's me, Clockwork Mouse. I was looking after Noddy's hat and it jumped over my head. Now then, young feller, me mouse, that's not Noddy's hat. It's Bigger's. What? I shall take charge of this hat gear forthwith and return it to its oh. rightful owner. <laughs> I'm sorry I was late fetching you from Sally Skittle's house, Tessie. There is no need to worry. We were all fast asleep. I had to mend a rattle on my car. Listen, there's no sound at all now. No, not even the sound of the bell on your hat. Oh, no. I've lost my hat. Where can it have gone? I had it when I got to Mr. Sparks' garage. I jumped out of my car, dashed up to Clockwork Mouse, borrowed a spanner, gave him my hat to look after, dived under the car, tightened a loose screw, jumped up from under the car, gave the spanner back, jumped into the car and... Oh, no. I never took my hat back. Never mind. I expect it'll be waiting for you at Mr. Sparks' garage. I'm fed up! So am I. We've done nothing bad all day. Shh! Listen! That's Noddy's bell! Come on! Halt! Your money or your hat? No, 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 no. He means we want your money and your hat. Certainly not. Ow! Oh, my ah! toes! Ow! My toes! I didn't know Noddy was so brave! And I didn't know he was so strong. <laughs> Mr. Sparks, have you seen Clockwork Mouse? Have you seen my hat? Oh, I'm sorry, Noddy, I haven't seen your hat and uh, Clockwork Mouse left long ago. Oh, dear, this is silly, chasing my hat all over the place. <laughs> Ow! Oh, good 
gracious, what are my spanners doing down there? Oh, bother. Big Ears is out. Oh, he was open. He might offer me a cup of his delicious cocoa. Ah, well, I'll just have to sit and wait. Hmm. Mustn't get this hat dirty. <laughs> Hello, Noddy. Hello, Big Ears. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, Noddy, I was looking for you. Big Ears, you've got my hat. I know. You took my hat by mistake. Where is it? Oh, dear. I'm very sorry. I seem to have lost your hat. I'm afraid it's a missing hat. Whatever shall we do? Oh, well, Noddy, we shall have to report my missing hat to Mr. Plod. Oh, he seems to have left a note. Have gone to Big Ear's house with his missing hat. Mm. Ah, ah. Mr. Plod's found your missing hat. How wonderful. Um, we'll return after cocoa time. Right. Come on, Noddy. Is that Big Ears asleep outside his house? It must be. That's his hat. Let's take his hat. That'll make up for being beaten by Noddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gasps> it's Mr. Plot. <gasps> what? What? Quick, before he catches us. Hey, you two goblins, come back here. <laughs> Careful, Noddy. There's someone on the path. It's Sly and Gobbo. <laughs> That's Noddy. Brave, strong Noddy. You've got Big Ear's hat. Give it back this instant. <laughs> Come on, hand it over. Of course. Whatever you say, Noddy. If you took my hat, then where is Mr. Plod? <laughs> Here I am. <gasps> Hold on, Noddy and Big Ears. You've captured those two bad goblins. Oh, Mr. Plod, please arrest us. I intend to. Please, lock us away before brave, strong Noddy attacks us again. I shall handcuff you two goblins to a tree while my friends and I deal with more urgent matters. Um, uh, what urgent matters are these, uh, Mr. Plod? Ah, well, uh, it's late, and, um, I think it's time you had a mug of, um, <clears throat> uh, your, um, delicious cocoa. Oh, <laughs> quite right. Oh, and you must join us. Oh, <laughs> thank you, big ears. <laughs> what a good idea. <laughs> hmm, what delicious cocoa. <laughs> Oh, I could just nod off. So could, uh, so could I. Miss Applaud. No, I, I mustn't go to sleep. That's how all the trouble with our hats started. I shall stay wide awake. <sighs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy.